Hello and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. We have now reached our fourth demo and until now we have already covered how to view an account balance or an account line item display and also how to view a vendor master. We will now look at how to view a customer master. A customer master view is very similar to a vendor master. But first, let's look at how do we exactly use the menu path on the right side. I will now go to the SAP screen. The menu path for anything to be displayed or created in accounting always starts with the accounting option over here. So in your SAP menu, there should be an option of accounting. Within accounting, there are various options. There are a lot of different sub modules within financial accounting. For example, we had discussed very briefly earlier in our initial videos, things like controlling project systems, joint venture accounting. What we are now going to do is view a customer master, which falls under financial accounting. Under financial accounting, there are options like general ledger, accounts receivable, accounts payable, banking, fixed assets, etc. We will look into accounts receivable. Within accounts receivable, you again have details like you want to create a document, you want to display a document, you want to check some accounts, or you want to view the master records. We want to look at the master record of a customer and which will be displayed to us by using transaction code FD03. So there are two options for me to display a customer master. I can either put in FD03 on the top over here or I can double click on this option. Once I double click, I get a pop-up which asks me what customer do I want to check. If you are unaware of the customer number, then click on this option and then you can freely search for the customer which you are looking for. Let's say you are looking for a customer which starts with E-R-I-K-A. Once you do this, Make sure that you have your stars at the start and the end, which means if there are any values which have ER, IKA before or after will all be shown in this list. Once you enter this, click on the enter button over here. And this gives you a list of all the customers starting with ER, IKA. And now you can choose what customer are you interested in to check the balance. So let's say I want to check the master record of the first customer in the list. So I double click on that and it gets shown up over here. Once you have selected your customer and company code, you need to press on the enter button. Once you do that, you are in the customer master. The customer master is divided in two different parts. One is the general data and the other is the company code data. This is the same as how we had seen the vendor da master data earlier. The general data will cover details like the name, the address, the address will have the postcode, the city, the country, and also if you go down below, you'll have communication details like telephone, language, etc. Once you've entered all these, you can also check the next tab where you will have the bank details entered. For example, the country, the bank key, the bank account number and the IBAN value. And then you can click on the company code data tab. Or alternatively, you can use these keys over here to go left and right. Again, similar to 
vendor master in the customer master as well you have a reconciliation account this GL account is an account where all the transactions on this customer are flowing into finance in this GL then we go to the next tab which is called payment transactions where if you have any agreed terms of payment with the customer then you can enter that here and if there is any fixed payment method by which you are receiving payment from the customer you enter that here in this case you will notice the payment terms are empty so let us take this opportunity to actually go in the change mode of this customer and search for the right payment term which we can enter here you will see an icon which has a, a pencil and a display like spectacles if you click on that this screen will move from a display mode to a change mode once you are in the change mode you can make any additions deletions anything you want on the screen of course it depends on what authorization you have in the system if you are a user who has not got all the access in the system then you may not see all the fields over here let's say I am searching for a term of payment but I am not aware what exactly was the payment term with the customer so I will search reading all these explanations and I have reached to the one which I think is the correct one wherein we have within 10 days if the customer pays the amount then they get a 5% cash discount this is the term which I have agreed with the customer so I just need to double click on that and it will get selected here Please do remember that one customer in one company code can only have one payment term. You cannot have different kind of agreements with a single customer for how they are making the payments. Once this is done, all we need to do is click on the save button. And you can keep a watch on the status bar on the bottom. You will see it says changes have been made this means we have displayed the customer master we have made the changes we have saved it and now we are out of it if you want to go back to the customer master you can again click on enter and now you see the payment term which we selected has been saved over here we are now back in display mode so this is in a gist how a customer master looks like. I will go back to the presentation now. Let us consider two additional items before we end this video. How do we exactly check the vendor line item report and the customer line item report? Now let's go back to SAP for this. So on the main screen, you will find that there are other options also available. For example, you can choose an account over here and you can see the line item detail of a particular customer. So we are already under accounts receivable and account and we have to choose FBL5N to display the line items. You do not have to memorize these transaction codes as and when you start working with it you will already start remembering those depending on the kind of role you have being a consultant or an end user we can now double click on this and this will take us to a screen which is looking very similar to the one we saw earlier for displaying a GL account balance but the only difference over here is that you have to choose a customer account.
not a GL account. Once we do that, we need to click on the execute button. And this will give you a list of all the items or all the documents posted for this particular customer. As you see, these are red in color, which means the status of these items is open. These are not yet cleared or these are not yet paid by the customer. You can also see the document date of 14th of October for all of them. And you can see this small red icon, which means that this particular document is now overdue for payment but the customer has still not made the payment. Once they make the payment, these items will convert into green, which is cleared. So this is a summary of how to view a customer line item display. If we go back to the main screen, and if we close accounts receivable, and we open accounts payable, account FBL1N. You can double click on that. Over here it exactly looks the same as how we saw viewing the customer. Here you need to enter the vendor number. And once you do that you need to press on the execute button. This will give you a list of all the documents which are posted for this particular vendor. As you can see, there are only two open items for this vendor. And the document date of these was 26th of October 2015. If you want, you can also dig deeper from this screen into the document. For example, if you want to see the first document of 50,000 euros, then you just need to double click on the document number and it will take you to a screen where the document is posted. This mountain option over here will give you a better view of what exact line items were triggered for this transaction. You see over here, the vendor is credited by 50,000 and office supplies account was debited by 50,000 which means there was an increase in our office supply and it was sent by a vendor who we now have to pay. There are other details on the screen for example the document number, the company code, the document date and the posting date, the reference which can be manually entered as anything you wish during the posting of the document or if there is any cross company code and the main currency of this particular transaction. You also have similar options like earlier where you can choose which particular layout you want or if you want any summation for the total etc there is also an option of exporting this on your machine which means if there are let's say multiple lines and you don't want to check them in sap but you want to check them in excel you can do that by just sending or downloading this file in a, as a spreadsheet so these are the options which are given by SAP as a standard already. Now we'll go back to the presentation. So as you've already seen, now we know how to view a customer and a vendor line item report. We will stop this video here. Thank you very much for watching Edupedia World Videos.